The following video has been approved by the Jetty marketing team. The video has been rated Jetty. The following video may not be suitable for all viewers. G'day mate, welcome back to Dyson Sphere with me, Jetty. And today, today we're going to be covering how to upgrade because it's just come out about 12 hours ago. And I've already seen a bunch of questions both in the comments section of previous videos along with in my Discord, how the hell does it work? So I thought, look, that's what we'll do. We'll do a quick video, cover this really quickly. It's not a complicated topic. But it is an interesting topic, and it's been one of the big updates I've been waiting for. The devs have been super active. They've fixed a lot of things already, and they said they'd get this one out before Chinese New Year, which starts tomorrow, I believe. So they're away for a week. So we're going to hope there's no bugs. But with all that said, let's go through the actual upgrade planner itself. So as you can see, I have three assembly machines, both a T1, a T2, and a T3, and a new little tool down here being upgrade facilities. Uh, and you might notice this is the first one on a keyboard. Most of the other ones are one through to nine. This is a U. Okay, so if we hover over something, we can see upgrade uh, upgrade assembly machine and hold shift to chain upgrade. Now, if I hold shift on an assembly machine and upgrade, nothing happens. There's no, there's no chain upgrade. At the same time, I can take a Mark II and convert it to a Mark III. Now, you might notice a couple of things. The sorters, they didn't upgrade. The belts, they didn't upgrade. They're still whatever tier they were originally. They need to all be upgraded separately. So if we bring back up our upgrade planner, the other option we do have is we can press the down arrow to get a downgrade planner. So I can take this back to a tier two and back to a tier one. On top of that, oh, five of them. Cool. If I bring this back up, set it back to downgrade, and I try to downgrade that assembly machine, you'll see it says lack of replacing item. So I can't downgrade something or upgrade something if I don't have it. Uh, same will apply to the tier two machines. Done. Uh, if I try to upgrade that, lack of replacing item. Now, I still have tier three uh, machines on me. So there's no way to skip from a tier one straight to a tier three, which is a little bit unfortunate. Just expect more clicking. Expect more clicking. The game's in early access. There's lots of clicking involved. It's something we've sort of all come to love to hate or hate to love about Dyson Sphere. Um, but yes, if I upgrade this machine to a tier three, I now definitely have a tier two in my inventory somewhere right there, which means I can now upgrade that one to a tier two and then upgrade it again to a tier three. On top of that, belts are, actually, let's do sorters first. So sorters have to find the hitbox and again, click to upgrade. Now there is that chain upgrade option. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to do anything with the sorters, which is a little bit unfortunate. Uh, actually, we'll just do a quick confirmation test. Uh, I'll have three of them coming out, attached to the same belt, and hold down shift, nothing, nothing. So yeah, just expect that you're going to have to click everything a couple of times, get used to double clicking, and be able to upgrade things that way. At the same time, you can always downgrade all the way back to level one, but let's be honest, why are we going to be downgrading it? Okay. Belts, belts, same story. Now let's do a Mark II into a Mark III. If I click, I can then drag either backward or forward, okay? But same with the deconstructing your belts. Once I just start choosing a direction, I can't go in the opposite direction. Uh, on top of that, there is a way to, of course, downgrade back to the uh, back to the, the previous version. Lastly, we do have this hold shift chain upgrade. So as you can see, I'm currently selected to upgrade one belt at a time. If I hold down shift, it'll upgrade all the belts in that particular, um, I guess, chain of belts. So if we click that, it'll upgrade all that to tier three. Uh, that one will go tier one to tier two, tier two to tier three. And then same with downgrade. If I hold down shift, I can then do all the belts, all the belts very, very quickly uh, from chain one to, well, tier one to tier two to tier three. Of course, I am going to have to have the items required on my inventory to be able to do the upgrading and the downgrading. So something you need to keep in mind. On top of that, we should cover this one really, really quickly. If I take some tier three belt and I T junction it into there, and then we grab our upgrade planner and I choose to downgrade, it's gonna follow the belt. So as soon as I bridge it in for a T in a section, it's only gonna do that section. If I do the main belt, it'll do the main belt. And we go back up, it'll do the main belt. It won't It won't turn corners, so to speak. If it's a T in, in, intersection, it'll only come in the way the belt's uh, flowing. So, one other thing we should probably cover really quickly, and 
as you can see, I have this lovely spiral right here. I can upgrade this obviously piece by piece by piece, but would that be a little bit of a nightmare? If I hold down shift, I can chain upgrade the whole belt. Maybe not the whole belt. Maybe I can't afford the whole belt. Uh, but what I can do is if I run out to all the way to the end and hit upgrade, I'm going to try and get this all in frame at the same time, and I hold down shift, you'll see it's only reaching halfway up the right side. Um, and that has nothing to do with where my mouse is. That has to do with the reach of the construction area. As I work, walk further forward, you can see that that's moving across. It's going to do the top. And then as soon as it wraps far enough, they can get around the corner. Everything else is closer to me. So if we go this way instead. Uh, can I get a good spot? No. No. Ah, oh, there we go. So we can see now it's it's upgrading partially back up this belt. So you are going to have to make sure that you're in range of whatever belts you're designing to upgrade. So if you are doing giant sky belts that flow across the map, you're going to have to definitely make sure that you make sure you maintain range of what you're upgrading and potentially follow those belts across the map. Because, you know, there's a good chance that you've made a little bit of spaghetti through your playthrough of Dyson Sphere. Um, I'm lucky enough, I'm actually on my Twitch map, and we've covered this a couple of times. This is my Cybertron. We've built everything here, because we didn't have an upgrade planner, at Tier 3 tech. So everything here is using blue assemblers, it's all using blue sorters, it's all using blue belts, um, including the lasagna layers, which I'll do a separate video on that at some stage. But yes, this is all made T3. This has been the only T1 stuff and T2 stuff I've had on the map. Now, what I want to do is actually I actually want to take you back to my existing base, my original base, my starter base, and show you how the upgrade planner does work very, very quickly to upgrade things around your base. Because let's be honest, um, you'll see it in a second. There's a little bit of spaghetti in my starter base. I welcome you back to my spaghetti. Yes, this is my first base. This is my original starter base. This is after 115 hours in the game. Most of it spent, uh, well, at least, I don't know, a quarter of it, a third of it spent building a whole new planet because, um, well, let's turn Lick Icarus's light on and, um, yeah, you can look at the wonderful mess that I have made for myself. Uh, and without an upgrade planner, this was, it was quicker to rebuild <laughs> than it was to fix this. Um, but now we have the power of the upgrade planner. We can now come through and we can like definitely upgrade assembly machines. Uh, oh. I've only got one T2 assembler on me. So we can definitely come through and go through and definitely upgrade. Oh, really? I'm out of T3 assemblers. Well, that didn't last long. Uh, also, on top of that, we can also go through and do all the sorters. And like I said, just get used to double clicking. Um, a lot of modern gaming mice let you set up a macro to do a double click. Maybe it's something that's probably not a bad idea, you know, mouse button number five to double click or something like that. On top of that, you're going to be able to come through and upgrade all these belts. Now, as I said, you need to make sure you stay in construction range. So what is a particularly uselessly long belt? Aha! Uh, okay, we'll do that one. Hey, look, that's a belt and a half. So that comes into this smelter rack and then whatever's left over obviously travels all the way over there for some reason and if i can get the right angle you can see it's only upgrading partly along anything past there is who knows so i would have to go through and upgrade this in sections and definitely make sure i follow the belt or what i'd actually be recommending to most players is um just upgrade everything to tier three just don't even worry about it don't even look at it don't even sort it just upgrade everything to tier three you see anything that's not tier three you know use the upgrade thingy and just click on it because that way you're guaranteed everything is running as fast as possible um on top of that uh you may notice that you can you can hover the upgrade planner over all sorts of things you can hover it over you know smelters and 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 um miners and all sorts of things it currently doesn't do anything maybe eventually we'll get a tier two smelter um but you can definitely upgrade the sorters both on the inner in and out along with the belts on top of that you're gonna and this is something i'm really gonna recommend and i will actually link down in the description and maybe probably even the top right hand corner as well my early early starter mall this is a earlier earlier version um but this is what i've used for early to through to mid game where 
I was handcrafting as, uh, assembly machines because honestly, I don't like the, the the increased power consumption of the assembly machine Mark II for what little speed increase it gets. It, it only goes up, the production speed goes up by about 0.3, about 30% faster, but the power consumption is almost doubled. And then of course the assembly machine Mark III is double the speed of the assembly machine Mark I and the power the power requirements are like three times as much, but really at the point you're getting assembly machine threes, who really cares? You've probably got enough power from Dyson Spheres, Dyson Swarms, you know, Mini Suns, whatever it happens to be. So I do really, uh, I, I have built mine intentionally with, you know, boxes that are limited. So it means I can take all my Mark I belt, hold down control, click on it, and it will move from here to here. Go to my, I, I'm going to need to keep Mark II belt on me to upgrade any Mark I belt that I've found into Mark II to then upgrade into Mark III. So you're going to have to keep a certain amount of Mark II belt on you. Uh, but the same will apply to sorters. So I will definitely come over here and take out 100 sorters. So we can then come through and upgrade as many sorters as we possibly can. No, hold on, shift, shift, the other shift. Uh, and upgrade all the belts. But yeah, sorters is one of those things you're going to have to hold on to for a little while. Uh, but then when you're done, when you're done, you can take all your Mark 1 sorters and drop them in here and they'll automatically get upgraded into Mark 2 and then into Mark 3. Um, Mark 1 into Mark 2 into Mark 3. Yes. So uh, I will be, and said, linking that down in the description below because I have no idea whether you have already set yourself up a mall, but you're definitely going to need one. And I definitely need to do another video with a my replacement version, which is back on Cybertron, which is all linked into... Uh, logistic towers so I can uh, go away I can drop one of these down which is what we've been doing as we've been outpost outposting on other planets and say hey I would really like uh, 100 machines and turns out I got 400 being delivered yep so I can just request things and they literally warp from uh, where are we here. Uh, that ship there is probably the one carrying my assemblers and it's going to come here. It does take like a minute to get here or so, uh, but the fact that I can request anything, anything that, uh, that I could possibly build, I can request. So colonizing new planets has just become a dream. I, I drop down one of these towers. I don't power it. Uh, go away. Go away. You got power still? No, power off. Yeah. So I dropped down one of these things completely unpowered, requesting whatever I want, and ships just show up carrying it, which just makes my life so much easier. Anyway, with all that said, that's really where I'm going to leave it for this upgrade video. I said I'd keep it short as possible. I said I'd keep it as sweet as possible. It's probably been too long, honestly, but you know, we, we try our best. If you like the video, by all means, click, click the like button. If you learnt something along the way, click the subscribe button. At the same time, I really recommend um, that if you're interested in more tips and tricks, tutorial, uh, tips, tricks, and tutorial videos like this one, by all means, there's a playlist on your screen right about now that you're welcome to have a browse through. We, we've covered lots of topics through Dyson Sphere, everything from making all the different science packs at a rate of one per second, all the way to my top 15 tips and tricks uh, for Dyson Sphere, how to make a swarm, how to make uh, make the Dyson Sphere itself, uh, interplanetary logistics, along with planetary logistics, and how to get warp cubes around your... Anyway, with all that said, that's where I'm going to leave this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video.